Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, in this video I'm gonna just do a basic kind of like skincare routine as Gladys will be arriving this week. And as you can see my skin isn't like awful but I'm having a few breakouts so just to make sure that they don't go wild on me. Um, not many, not too many steps because like I said in my last video I don't like to do too much um, because then I feel like my skin gets worse. So first of all I like to start off with the Little Mix Simple Micellar uh, Wipes. Now it's not because of Little Mix, honestly I don't give a toss about the fact that from about metal, Little Mix. It's just that I find that these out of all, because um, I've got sensitive skin, these are the ones that work best for me and they also um, are like really like well, that's only really like wet, it's not, you know, like they've got a lot of, you can tell they've got a moisture or a product on them and they do, instead of normal makeup wipes would take me, let's say, I'd need three wipes to take off a full face, I would only need like two of these, so they work really well. So I just like to do this to kind of clean up any excess oils before, the, so they don't get locked in with all the products I'm going to use. Um... I mean, I have clean skin right now, this is just to take off any, yeah, oil that nobody wants on their skin. Oh. So now I'm just gonna waft, try and dry as much as possible. So the products I'm gonna be using today are the Black, can you so darling? This focus thing is really like, gotta learn, there we go. Um, mask, you know, the, the charcoal that you put on, leave about 15 minutes and then you're taking it, should take all the gunk out. So I'm just gonna apply that to a few things. Then I've got, so that was from one of the um, beauty boxes, I've got two of those. And then also I've got a self-eating eye mask because I'm just feeling really exhausted at the moment which doesn't really make much sense because I don't feel like I've actually done much. But uh, hmm, maybe it's Gladys. Gladys, you bitch. Um, so I'm going to do this. Um, yeah. See what happens with that. I've never tried that. And I love a good sheet mask. And Simple have just come out with um, a Korean range. And they've got their charcoal purifying sheet mask with bamboo charcoal. And it's new. And at test score at the moment, it is on offer for half price. It's like £1.75. Which for anyone who likes a bit of, well, sheet masks are quite, I think, on the dearer side, I would say, of face masks. Especially for a one-time use. Bargain. Bargain. So we're trying that out. And then just to walk it all in, my, my go-to, I was saying that I have a moisturizer that I love, Big Pot from Sephora, where I just, we need Sephora in England. Um, oh God, it's been used so much. The writing is starting to rub off. Cotton Flower Nourishing something cream. Huh? Towel, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Well, it's body, basically it's body cream, and this is what it looks like. I mean, it's just a massive big Sephora pot. Flower extract, it smells really good. It's cotton flower extract. Nourishing velvet cream, towel cream. <laughs> Nourishing velvet cream, but body cream tends to be quite thick, and maybe, I feel like if it's for your body, you can put it on your face. I've never actually used it for my body. But I love it. I just put like a gentle amount of that on and it really just feels great on my skin. So those are the products that I'm using. So yeah, like I said, quick, easy. Definitely won't be doing any more of that 50 minutes palaver because I'm not gonna lie, even I, having just, uh, I've rewatched it a few times to make sure it's what I want it to be. Started to not lose interest because I think I made it, I'm happy with what I made. But I can understand that people just start thinking, God, oh, she, she does go on a bit, doesn't she, that one. Can I say it was actually an hour and a half? So I actually managed to cut down 40 minutes. It was a struggle. Let's just say that. So we're gonna do the black mask. Do, 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 do. And, oh God, it just comes it just comes straight out. I mean, there's no stopping this one. She's an eager little one, aren't you? Aren't you? 
So I'm just gonna, okay, right, here we go. So I'm just gonna put it over the, the areas that I feel that I break out the most when Gladys is on her sweet little way. I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of application. I'm literally just squirting and applying. My chin for some reason, so like I said, I've got quite oil prone skin. It tends to be quite t zone <gasps> Wasn't paying attention. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. It's just today is not my day. I've tried a product similar to this and I did just what I just did. I got it on my brow. That hurts like a bitch getting that off. But try and make sure it's like really black because I feel like if it's not that black, it's not going to. um do like the proper coating that it's supposed to do. God, I've got this in a right pickle. I like to do a bit around here, because like again, T-zone. God, it's gonna be a nightmare getting off my nose, isn't it? <laughs> fabulous, fabulous. Oh, he doesn't love a bit of John Barrowman. What a babe. reading a post earlier, so I'm 24, 25 in June, 9 to 94 baby, Gemini, um, I think I'm classed as like Gen X, millennial, and I was okay, reading all these posts these days about like how I was in, I'm in the era that grew up with parents having massive phones, but also now using social media, um, so I remember like having my parents coming home and having like them using the internet so I would be playing Minesweep. I think I've said this before, but you know. And it's quite amusing if you think about all the programs we used to watch. They've still got Arthur, which I found out the other day. I also like to do a bit on my cheeks, because for some reason I get a few big pimples pop up on my cheeks. Don't know why, because they're not very oily, but you know, maybe I got big pores, I don't know. That's where they've been coming. I'm so attracted right now, I mean, whatever. The things women do for beauty. Well, I feel like for me, right, okay, now I need to be under my chin because that's one where one decided to pop up the other day and it was, so I don't know if boys get this, but girls, like when you get a pimple that pops up, and it's, but it's more like a lump and you think it's ready so you go in it's not bloody ready and then you end up and then this is what happens to me is what i've got here bloody red mark so i'm going to wait for this for about 15 to 20 minutes and then i'll be back so i'm back not gonna lie so tight i'm struggling to talk but you're ready you're ready right it's always quite hard to get hold of these things, little buggers. Oh. Huh. Apparently my skin's not too bad down there, so winning at life. This is gonna be the hardest, we'll do this one first. Oh, the eyebrows, the eyebrows, the eyebrows, oh. And then, no, not much going on up there either. Right, this is going to be a bloody nightmare, this one. <laughs> oh. Feels really weird. And you can usually see on it if there's any gunk that's come up, but actually, I don't seem to have much. 
so that's obviously didn't dry properly so then i like to take another makeup wipe just to get the extra bits off whatever was in these pores is evidently not there anymore so that's good to know and it can be a bit red afterwards and that's just generally because it's like obviously you've pulled on your skin a bit but that tends to go down within a within a few minutes get out of my eyebrows I mean yeah it's a bit red but doesn't stay red for very long next I'm gonna do the self-heating eye mask right the little things at the top I'm not gonna lie like I've, had, I've tried self-heating gel things before and they're quite weird oh so it's not actually got any um moisture to it it's just like almost like um I oh, was felt you know, little like tea bag things in with like elastic bands Oh, it does smell good oh, it does smell lovely but um okay I'll sit here for a couple of minutes to see if the warmth appears Cause to be fair I ain't feeling nothing yet oh uh, if I touch them though they are quite warm I don't really understand what this is supposed to do, you know. I mean, I feel like if you actually put tea bags on your eyes, it would be better because then you can actually put like nutrients like jasmine or lemon or honey or peppermint into your like skin which is actually quite a good thing to do to reduce puffiness around the eyes or um what are they called eye bags okay i can feel a bit of warmth I feel like it mainly feel it when i'm not talking i mean i'm gonna go and do this and then when it's finished I'll let you know. So I might have given up a little bit earlier, taking it off. Um, it says it's supposed to relieve tiredness and eye strain, but actually, I don't, I just didn't feel like I did much, to be honest. It only lasts for 15 minutes and quite, and also like I sleep better. Pete is, you know, fact that you sleep better in like colder, envi colder environments. If you get too warm, like it's quite hard to sleep. So why would you then want your eyes to be warm? Like it was quite unnerving in some way. I don't know if this is what thoughts you bought. Honey, you go for it, but see ya. Not for me, thanks. Right, next, like that's, my, I got red eyelids. It's giving me red eyelids, like warm eyelids, like super weird. Not feeling you, honey. Next, we've got the Simple Daily Skin Detox Charcoal Purifying Sheet Mask. Bamboo charcoal. Made in Korea, baby. Korea. So step one, you just put it on like right if you haven't done it before you remove the mask from the sachet and gently unfold place the mask evenly over your previously cleansed skin leave 15 minutes and gently peel off massage to absorb the excess product into your skin or use a cotton pad to remove apparently natural bamboo charcoal is well known for its super skin detoxifying priorities bye bye oil and impurities well i want to say bye bye well at the moment obviously my skin's great but so like when you when Gladys is around, it's almost like a bit like menopause. I like I tend to get a bit hot, so I feel like this will hopefully calm my pores. Calm. Okay, so just tear it at the top. Try to do it upright actually, because it has got stuff like that. It just went all over the shop. Oh, it's nice and juicy. And this is what it looks like. And then 
I always find this so um, fragile. It's quite easy. Like, I feel like sometimes I'm so scared I'm going to rip the bloody thing. Yeah, so it's this way. I just get my the nose flap down. Um, well, they're not trying to make me look like black face here. It's because it's black because it's charcoal. And then we apply it to face. And then it's got slits in it to like make it like easier to mold to your skin. And then leave it on, I can't talk, sorry. Leave it on for 15 minutes. I'm sexy and I freaking know it. Dun, 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 See, glad it's making me go absolutely nuts. Hmm. Happy with that. So I'll come, I'll be back in 15 minutes. So I'm back, as you can see, everything is soaked in it's been 15 minutes and taking it off to begin with you can start to feel a bit of a tingle especially the place where i did the black mask like where i opened up my pores um but it's actually such a nice cool calming feeling and i like the coolness of my skin so like with that eye mask self-heating weird yeah so now i just need to like massage in the excess as you can take it off but i always massage it in because who like, what's the point in doing a face mask if you're not going to actually reap the benefits of what comes on it you know so it could be here a while i'd like i rub quite hard that was something weird like when i do I have a like a massage i'm not one of those that likes a like a just a nice like almost like a back stroke i want you to not quite as bad as a thai massage i was actually in bangkok four years ago now i'd say i celebrated new years in thailand 2000 went to 2015 so yeah four years ago went to we didn't want to do one of those like happy endings though so we went to a really nice hotel, went up to their spa, me and my friend had a had a uh, time massage and they literally sit on you and like put your arms up and then your legs up and there's one point I felt like she like my ribs were gonna concave because she put so much pressure onto me. I was like couldn't like I, it was it was a hor I don't know you want to have your back clicked, you go to a chiropractor, don't you? It was very bizarre, and we were, it was me, an American guy, and my friend Saskia. And towards the end, all we heard was from this man, like he was a huge, big, quite large American man, like in his like 60s, all we could hear was, oh yeah, baby, yeah, right there, right there. And I was like, right. I thought I was came to a place of like luxury and I don't know, wouldn't have to peer this kind of stuff. That's exactly why we didn't go to some little shack on the roads out in the market so we could avoid this kind of pretty sure it's having happy ending basically. So yeah. This is all rubbed in. So basically the point of that story was I like to have a good deep like deep massage. I just don't like for me a time massage is like too far. There was a line, you crossed it too far but yeah also it's quite good to like push down like like drains your lymph nodes lymph nodes are here aren't they but like it drains i went out last night and might have had a couple of glasses of vodka cranberry with lime so just to get rid of anything that that could do to my skin we're just gonna drain it out don't actually know if this does anything, but it feels nice. So that's all nice in. I feel like I'm glowing. Oh, and the reason why my hair's up is because I feel like if you're gonna do skincare, you need your hair away from your face. And one thing I like to do is I like to wear a scrunchie. Um, 
like I always have to go to bed with my hair up because I just, just just got so much of it I end up with it bloody everywhere um always put my hair up when it's scrunchy because that actually stops like there's sometimes hair bands are too tight and that actually strains your hair and that's what makes sometimes your hair f fall out especially for me someone who like my hair falls out quite a lot like in the shower when I condition and stuff where it's been quite loose like it does the job but it doesn't strain on your hair follicles so now I feel like I'm ready for Gladys. Gladys, come up, you bitch. Right, and then last but not least, we're going to lock it all in with my beautiful Sephora Moisture Moisturiser. And basically, so it's quite, I've used it quite a bit, I do need some more, but it's like, looks like this, and it's quite thick. I'll probably try and use the stuff that's on the lid first, but it's quite like, Gonna fake. It's really like thick. And I tend to do a dollop on each cheek. That was quite a large dollop. Forehead, chin, and then a bit on my nose. Actually, I'm going to link all of the um, products where you can find them. Etc. Below. So it's easier instead of having to Google. It's so thick, so thick, but I always wake up and go to bed. And, well, you go to bed before you wake up, don't you? Go to bed feeling great, wake up. My skin always feels really great. So it's also a really good base for uh, before you put your primer on for makeup. And a lot of people like moisturize twice daily because this is so thick. I only do it before I go to bed. Like I pretty much only do a skincare routine before I go to bed. Like all this would be before I sleep. But I do do some stuff in the shower, which I recently put on my Instagram story. But yeah, like I try not to do too much. And I always go around my ears and my neck. Just to like spread it all out. But if I do too much moisturizing, I feel like it makes my skin it almost produces too much oil. So when you wash your hair too much and your hair then produces more oil and makes your hair greasier, I feel like that the same happens with my skin. Um, so I only try to moisturize like in the evenings and also more often when it's like cold. So where I'm living, it says the UK is going to hit minus 11 degrees this week. I know it's been snowing a little bit in London, Heavily snowing, snowing in Scotland, also it's really snowing in Denmark, and Denmark, where I'm from, in Denmark is pretty, well, not where I'm from, I'm from England, but like, where my family originates from in Denmark, similar level to Scotland, so I know when one of them snows, the other one is probably snowing too, but yeah, my skin, I feel like my, like my pores, you can't really see unless you put like a magnifying glass on, and we ain't gonna do that, honey, I must feel like I'm already, I'm glowing already, just from this. So that was very simple, using simple products. Anywho, anywho, that's the end of this week's video. Nice and short and sweet, hope you enjoyed it. I will start doing some makeup tutorials soon, but I think the next video that I want to do next week is ASMR, because I've been like dying, dying to do that. Um, and I feel like, it's something that I was meant to do, you know? Maybe not, we'll find out. We'll see how you feel about that. But um, I think I'm gonna do that next and then, and then I'll do a makeup tutorial. Unless you wanted to make up tutorial first before ASMR, again, comment, let me know. Um, but that's the plan going forward. I'm also gonna at some point bring on a friend to do a makeup tutorial. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching today's video, love you all, and uh, see you next week. Mwah!